The economy and growth took centre stage on day two of China's Communist Party Congress in Beijing. Latest figures show inflation fell slightly to 1.7% in October. China's export-led economy faces major challenges as demand falters in Europe and the United States. Laura Kyle has more on how the Chinese media has been covering the Congress. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Congress throughout the state media, as one would expect. The People's Daily, the Communist Party's main mouthpiece, giving very dense blow-by-blow -blow account of proceedings. Now, the number one line is that China is going to be following this path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Also highlighted here is that incomes are set to double by 2020. Now, if you look at China Daily, of course, targeted towards an international audience, it explains this idea of socialism with Chinese characteristics as progress being made in the fields of politics, economy, society, culture, and mentions that for the first time, ecology was included in that list. Also highlighting that reforms were mentioned in the speech. That's misleading, though, because President Hu Jintao made it very clear that China would remain a one-party system. Interesting, if we look online, we get a very different picture. China's version of Twitter, Sina Weibo, has its number one search item to be Obama after the US elections. Now, this could be in part because government censors have managed to figure out a way whereby they filter out any personal posts on the Congress. And if you search for it, all you see are the official news outlets. Just one more way that the Communist Party is determined to retain control of the coverage of this event.